So yo, what's up? It's your boy OT and welcome to Steady Bro. Now I haven't really put um a video on this channel for quite a while, but um today we'll be looking at diabetes. Diabetes. Alright? So now the question is what is diabetes? Diabetes simply puts is high sugar level. That means the sugar in your bloodstream is higher than that which is considered normal for a healthy person. So let's let's get a bit deeper, right? So there are two main types of diabetes. You have type 1. In type 1, your pancreas has non-functional beta cells, which means they are not producing insulin. Okay? Now the question now is, why should we even care about it? Now, insulin is a very important hormone in the body, right? And it's produced by the pancreas, the beta cells specifically. So when insulin is produced, it acts as a key. Okay? It's a key that allows the sugar within your blood to enter the tissues for them to be utilized as um, a source of energy, okay? But in type 1 uh, diabetes, this insulin is not produced, and this results in high sugar level within the blood. In type 2 diabetes, however, your pancreas is able to produce insulin, but the insulin is unable to open the doors to allow the sugar to flow into the tissues. That is why we call it insulin resistance. The insulin is produced, but it does not work as it is expected to work. And this also results in a high sugar level. I hope this is making sense, all right? Insulin resistance, insulin produced, but not working as normal. All right, now let's look at some signs of diabetes. One of the most common ones are nocturia and polyuria. I seen you'll be using the loo more than usual, right? And you'll be waking up at night to use the loo more than usual. That is not to urea and polyurea, all right? And polydipsia. So you, you, you'll be drinking a lot of water. And now here, here, here is a catch. You've been drinking a lot of water. You always, you also be using the loo more than often. And you might think you are using the loo more than often because you are drinking a lot of water. But that is not the case. You are using the loo more than often because of the diuretic effect of the sugar in your bloodstream all right and consequently you are feeling thirsty that is why you are drinking more water additionally you might notice that you're also losing weight now this weight loss is not because you are burning off the extra calories uh, you've been eating no this is because your body is not receiving the glucose which is the sugar into the tissues to be used as energy right so it, it burns down fat and muscle to use as energy, which causes an overall um, uh, weight loss, okay? Additionally, you might also notice that um, your vision becomes blurry. Now, this is because when uh, the blood sugar level is high for a long time, um, the lens in your eyes swells up, and when this happens, the light passing through the lens onto the retina is not hitting the retina as it, it would for a normal person or like a healthy eyes, and this causes um, blurred vision. But this can be changed after you get your, um, your blood sugar level um, into the target range. Oh, um, so the question now is how do you prevent diabetes? Now this is mainly for the type two, because in type one, you have a non-functional pancreas and your beta cells not producing insulin. It's not really something you can prevent. You were born with it and that is unfortunate. And perhaps you replace the medication and you have to manage it accordingly with, with a healthy lifestyle. But those, who have type 2 diabetes, we can prevent it by exercising more, eating more complex carbohydrates, um, eating your fruits and your vegetables, you see, then kind of having a, a, a fairly um, adequate lifestyle to um, prevent that excess sugar from entering the body in, in, in the first place. So when you see you have these sort of symptoms, just seek medical advice, you know, don't go to Google and try to diagnose yourself and um, what do you call it, treat yourself seek proper medical advice and most likely um you'll be placed on treatment which will involve giving of medication normally insulin for type 1 diabetes metformin initially for um type 2 diabetes and, and, and advice to change your lifestyle which will include um exercising eating complex carbohydrates as i mentioned earlier you know your brown rices your oats your brown breads um as these release um sugar gradually into the bloodstream and do not spike it as perhaps um, a sugary um, sweetened food or kind of soda would. So yeah, th that'll be my advice for today.
if you notice you're having these sort of symptoms, seek early medical um, advice. Um, the earlier it is seen, so I think the better the outcome. Okay. Thank you.